nice things about Elaine today. I, I want to give a little bit of a dissenting opinion. <laughs> she, uh, she is either a very hardworking, dedicated employee, are you listening, Chancellor Black, or she's crazy because two hours after her surgery, she was texting me when she had her hip surgery about a month ago. So anyway, let me see if I can find the spot where I'm supposed to get to. As he, Elaine mentioned, there are three awards that uh, remain, and uh, the first one is called the Entrepreneurial Vision Award. Uh, this recognizes a person who has identified and creatively acted on long-standing business activities in a new way. This year's recipient has grown his business to positively impact and provide jobs in Duluth, Superior, Grand Rapids, Hibbing, Virginia, and Two Harbors as both an insurance executive and a commercial real estate developer. Since he became chairman and CEO of the Otis McGee Insurance Agency in 2011, the agency's revenues have increased 75% and its number of employees from 27 to 51. This spring, he guided the merger of Virginia's Greater Minnesota Agency with the 129-year-old Otis McGee, allowing the agency to provide an even broader range of insurance, employee benefits, and financial planning services to its clients. Last year, he, last year excuse me, he was chosen for more than 6,500 insurance professionals statewide as the 2015 Minnesota Insurance Agent of the Year, the first time a Duluthian had received the award in 25 years. But insurance isn't the only aspect of his entrepreneurial vision. In the late 1990s, he began, began acquiring underperforming commercial properties to revision and repurpose them into modern spaces. He now owns, improves, and management, manages 275,000 square feet of commercial real estate in the half dozen cities that I mentioned earlier. They include the city center building in Superior and the Providence building in downtown Duluth, which was 47% full when he purchased it in 2008 and is now at full capacity. He is a past executive committee member of the St. Mary's Medical Center in Duluth and St. Mary's Hospital in Superior and has served on many other boards and committees to help improve our region. For consistently demonstrating a visionary approach to helping his businesses and communities grow, we're pleased to present the 2016 Label Award for Entrepreneurial Vision to Tom Stender. You all probably uh, thought the award ceremony was wrapping up after the business person of the year got his award. So I'll make this very quick. I want to thank a few people. First off, thanks for the nomination and emerging entrepreneur. And congratulations to Day Tripper and everybody else who's been nominated today. What, what a great event to recognize everybody who's out there every day just working hard trying to make their communities better and trying to build their business. This is really special. I'd also like to thank my wife Mimi. Uh, I want to go back to uh, 1998 when the decision came upon us to move back home, my hometown, uh, from the Twin Cities. And that we, we had an opportunity with Otis McGee to join them, me as a salesperson. And you know, it was a quick discussion and Mimi said, you know, I always thought we'd we'd move back and raise our family in Duluth. And since then, we've never looked back. It's been an unbelievable place to work and do business and, and raise our family. So we love it. But who I'd really like to recognize is everybody that I get to work with every day at Otis McGee. The people at Otis McGee, the old adage, surround yourself with the best people you can and then try to work towards their strengths and help them move towards their strengths. It's been an unbelievable journey with Otis McGee and we've put a real emphasis on trying to grow the agency regionally because it's really our only choice. We have to grow or become irrelevant. So I thank you very much. Appreciate it. 